Hi everyone, welcome back to the Whitney Water Center Learning From Home. My name is Lisa DeFrancesco, the water science educator here at Regional Water Authority. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about clouds. Last time, we learned that clouds form through condensation. When water vapor, which is invisible, cools, it turns back into a liquid. That's condensation, and that's how clouds are formed. Because we know how clouds are made, we can do an experiment today that's gonna to make a cloud in a bottle. Before we start today's experiment though, it's very important to know you need an adult to help you with this experiment. We're gonna be using matches and you should never ever use or touch matches. That's for an adult to do. You're gonna need a clear two liter soda bottle. Make sure the label's taken off and then you still have the cap, warm water and matches. Begin by taking the cap off of the soda bottle and pour a little bit of the warm water in. You don't need a lot, just enough to fill the bottom. That should be good. Place the cap back on the bottle. Spin the water around in the bottle a little just to get the inside wet. Take off the cap. And here come the matches. Here's where an adult is going to help you with this. You're gonna light one match and you're gonna slowly put it inside the soda bottle. The important part is we wanna trap the smoke from the match inside the bottle. It's okay if some gets out, you're gonna drop the match inside and there's not much going on in there right now. The next part is where we make our cloud. Begin by squeezing the bottle nice and tight. That's creating high pressure inside the bottle. The higher the pressure, the warmer the water gets. When we let go of the bottle, the pressure lowers, the water cools, and it condenses. You can see the fog or the cloud that formed inside the bottle. It was easy to see the condensation inside our bottle. In nature, clouds form when water condenses around small pieces of pollen, dust, smoke from wildfires, whatever small particles there are in the air. We recreated that by using the smoke from the match to put inside the bottle. If we didn't have this, the condensation wouldn't be nearly as noticeable. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us. My name's Lisa DeFrancesco, the water science educator here at Regional Water Authority. We look forward to seeing you again soon.